Hey, it's Christine Comerford, and I want to talk about the third step to evolving as an executive, to conscious evolution. Now, we've talked about you revealing yourself, we've talked about standing for yourself, and what I want to talk about today is aligning your being and your doing. See, we're all great at doing. We just do, 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 do. But in all that doing, you know, who are we being? Are we really finding out who we are and making sure that the stuff we do uh, forwards or supports who we are? Interesting, huh? Well, I think a lot of us don't know who we are. And on my last video where I talked about standing for yourself, I talked about ways to find out who you are. Also, revealing yourself helps you find out. But here's the thing I want to focus on today is as you start to look at who you're supposed to serve and how you're supposed to serve them, you start to then be much more connected with what you should be doing. Example, um, I used to think that I needed to help anybody who was building a great business, making a difference in the world. So it's helping everybody, helping everybody, doing, 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 and I got totally burned out. Boom, I retired, and then I was called out of retirement because people read my book, and you know, phones started ringing, emails started flying, and I thought, okay, this time I'm not gonna go crazy. This time, um, I really want to align my doing with just serving entrepreneurs. That's who I'm supposed to serve. I'm supposed to serve entrepreneurs. So I started doing that and I realized, oh my God, that's like way too many people. <laughs> and I could see burnout on the horizon and I was like, wah, put on the brakes. So I really went inside and I thought, okay, who do I really need to be right now so that my doing can be aligned with that? And I get that from going inside, I really got that all I need to do is serve a very small group of game-changing executives. So I took Mighty Ventures, my company, and I divided it into two different divisions. One is the entrepreneur division that I work uh, maybe eight days max a month for. That's where we serve entrepreneurs, but I don't lead that. Right, One of my team members leads that, and I just kind of help out there. And then the executive division, where I spend 12 or more days a month, working with a small, small group of game-changing executives because I'm supposed to work with fewer people in a much deeper way. Doing that has made me feel so much more fulfilled. I don't have to help everybody. I just need to help a small group of people who have huge influence over larger groups of people. And until I got still and aligned my being and my doing, you know, I was always just like, you know, tilting at windmills, if you will. I was, I was going after things that weren't really aligned with who I was and what I was supposed to doing at, be doing at the given point in time. Now, people often make this bigger than it needs to be. They say, oh, what am I going to do for the whole rest of my life? All that matters is what you're doing right now because we're all constantly growing, changing, evolving. So just figure out what you need to be doing for the foreseeable future. I mean, I find that I do something new and profoundly different maybe every three to five years. So in... Aligning your being with your doing. You really want to just be clear that all the stuff you're doing is serving who you want to be in the world. So something to think about. Who do you want to be in the world? You know, how do you want your activities, your work, uh, where you spend your time, our most valuable asset? Making money is not hard. You can't get more time, though. So how are you spending your time in a way that really forwards who you want to be? Are you being while you're doing? Something to think about.